welcome to the new era of ambulant mobility, where you can take up to 450 pounds up to 100 flights of stairs with the push of a button. No need to install tracks on your stairs and no need for personnel to take you up and down anymore. The motorized stair chair can easily be handled by a household member with very easy training. To protect your motorized stair chair, it is shipped in a rigid wooden box that can easily be opened with a Phillips screwdriver. Once the chair is out of the box, put the seat down and ensure the safety lock set in. Next, make sure to charge the battery. Attach the adapter to the chair battery and plug into the wall. To power the chair, the battery needs to be hooked up to the motor. Beneath the seat, attach the wire to the battery. Tighten it by fastening the safety bolt clockwise. Insert the key on the side of the battery and turn it right. The indicator light will illuminate. Turn on the machine by flipping the red switch on top of the handlebar. When moving the chair on a flat surface, ensure that the rubber tracks are folded up. This allows for the four wheels full tracking and mobility. To open the track system, push the red handle to where the arrow is pointing and pull the track away from the chair until it locks into place. To close the track system, push the closing handle down until the track system completely closes and is locked into place. Rotate the red knob behind the chair to adjust the telescopic handrail. We recommend that you extend the handlebar to its highest level. To get familiar with using the chair, practice going up and down the stairs without a live body. This ensures the safety of the patient and yourself. Before transferring the patient into the chair, unfold the chair and ensure the rear wheels are locked. Sit the patient down and make sure that the patient's legs are on the footrest. Strap the patient into the chair using the safety belt. It is important that you do not move the patient until the safety belt is secure. The green and yellow buttons on top of the handlebar activate the tracks. The green button is to go up the stairs and the yellow button is to go down. When no buttons are in use, the chair will be in default brake mode. You can also use the red switch as an emergency power off brake. We highly recommend that you use another person at the front of the chair as a safety backup. As you move up or down, Push the chair against the stairs to keep the rubber tracks flush against the stairs. Do not hold the weight of the chair in your hands. For additional information, please visit our website.